Weil hier, hier bin ich mal wieder auf sillyhuhn.com, ähm, dem Anarchie-Server ohne Regeln und Administration. Ähm, wo waren wir denn stehen geblieben? Keine Ahnung. Äh, ja, jedenfalls. Ach so, ich wollte mich irgendwo mal niederlassen, ne? Äh, ja, jedenfalls unbedingt hier auf diesen Server gehen mit der IP 1.2.0.2.1.7.1.3.4 ähm, oder eben alternativ, wie gerade äh, schon gesagt, silihun.com. Ähm, ja, das ist ein kleiner Minecraft-Server mit dem Namen Laser Gockenland, wo kaum was los ist und äh, man immer so ein bisschen entspannt Vanilla spielen kann. Ähm, ja, und wir pumpen beide jetzt Improved Cyber Security Skills with CTFs, Pico CTF Walkthrough 2018. Ist hier drunter von John Hammond auf dem Free Code Camp Channel. Das ist schon die zweite Episode, in der wir das schauen. In der ersten Episode sind wir so bis circa 45 Minuten gekommen und da geht es jetzt auch weiter. Link ist in der Beschreibung. Copy it and submit it for 100 points. Awesome! This challenge is called strings for 100 points. It says, can you find the flag in this file without actually running it? You can find the file here at this location on the shell server, but we're given a download, so we can just go ahead and copy that. I will w get it into my directory here, and it's going to take a little bit. I guess my internet just sucks. Okay, now that that's finally done, we can take a look at what this is. I kind of already have an inkling as to what to do and how to solve this, considering the challenge prompt, but it looks like an executable, so let's just kind of play along, mark this executable, and run it. It says, have you ever used the strings function? Check out the man pages. So if you want to check out function. man strings, you totally could, but it will just print the strings, the printable characters, is and strings file. So we can just function? pass along the file as an argument to this. So let's run strings, and the file is literally called string. So that's not, I don't mean for it to be confusing, but uh, maybe that's just as we see here. So it gets all the strings out of it. Looks like there's a lot of stuff in here. Um, you could scroll through it if you particularly wanted to, but it looks like it's even more of my terminal history that I can't scroll past. So what I'm gonna do is actually just rep again for the flag format, and I will just use picoctf with uh, the regular expressions to go ahead and get the insides of the flag, and I'll disable the color there. So simply that will give us the flag. We can go ahead and submit that if we wanted to, but let's just make a simple get flag script for it. So get flag dot sh, simple shebang line, chmod plus x to mark that as executable. Redirect it to flag dot text, and let's grab it to our clipboard so that we can submit it. Get that 100 points. All right, cool. So let's mark get challenge as complete. Super simple. The next one that we can move on to is called Pipe. It says, during your adventure, you'll likely encounter a situation where you'll need to process data that you receive over the network rather than through a file. Can you find a way to save the output from this program and search for the flag? Connect to this. So we're given a host and port number. Let's go ahead and connect to it. What I'm gonna do is actually change into the Pipe directory that I have already created. And let's connect to that host and port with Netcat. So it gives me a lot of garbage. I'm sorry, you're going to have to take into the line, blah, blah, blah. It's not a flag, etc., etc. And there's just a lot of stuff. My internet connection is still crapping out. I'm going to pause this bit. Whatever it looks like, I'll just deal. Um, the methodology can still work here if we actually get results from this service. So what I'm going to do is just as we've done before, kind of take that output and grep through it. So wait until we get a response. It is our flag. So let's go Pico CTF, the exact same format. Format, color equals none. And then eventually we'll get the hit. It should happen pretty quickly on your side. Uh, I guess because my internet just sucks at the moment. Uh, we'll see how it goes. Okay, out pop the flag. And we can go ahead and do this. If you wanted to, you could just simply save this as our get flag script. Um, it's certainly easier or probably better on your side because your internet will work better than mine. But I'm just going to go ahead and save this and mark it as the flag. We'll go ahead and submit that. Simple stuff, right? Just a strings command. Well, at least strings command for the last one and using grep, and this time again using grep to just read through all the output that this service or this netcat connection is spitting out at us. So let's go ahead and mark that as complete. Just burning through these good stuff. And this next challenge is called Inspect Me for 125 points. It says inspect this code. It gives us a link to a website, and we can go ahead and click that link, open it up, 
It says, my first website, intro and about. You can click on these, but there's not a whole lot here. It says, these are web skills I've been practicing, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. So I'm going to hit Control U, or you can right click and just say view page source, but Control U is a good hotkey for it on the keyboard. It says, this is my first website. And you get, to H you get to see the HTML source. You get to see what it, the, the web page is actually made out of, how it's built. So it says, I learned HTML. Here's part one third of the flag. It says, Pico CTF, your for real inspect. And it looks like we have to get the rest of it. So let's go ahead and I've got a directory created for it. I'm just going to start to build up the flag as I find pieces of it. I think we've done this before in Pico CTF 2017. But Noting what we just read so far, this person is trying to learn CSS and JavaScript, let's check out those other files. You can see that they are linked up top over in the head tag of this HTML. So let's check out the mycss.css file. There's some cool CSS, but there's also a comment that says I learned CSS. Here's the next part of the flag. And it looks like that, that is actually just the very end of the flag. If, like you can see the format, the ending curly brace at the very end here. And if I actually were to go back and check out the myjavascript.js, it says, here's part three-thirds of the flag, and it's just simply, oh, blank space. So it looks like we already just got the two flag pieces that we need from the HTML and the CSS. Let's go ahead and copy that and submit it. Nice and easy. Another simple challenge. Cool. All right. We can mark that challenge as complete. And we've just burned through another couple, a, a few of the Pico CTF challenges. So I hope you are enjoying these. Right now, again, the challenges aren't too difficult, um, but it's certainly good to learn and look at the, some of the stuff if you haven't seen it before. So I hope it is helping some people. Now we are on the grep two challenge, uh, 125 points. It says this one is a little bit harder. If you find the flag in this location on the file system on the shell server here, uh, remember grep is your friend. So. They don't give us a link to download any files here, and we haven't gotten to that SSH or SSH keys uh, challenge to actually connect on our own to the shell server, like through the command line. So I'm just going to do it through their web shell, which I don't particularly like, but whatever. Uh, I guess I'll just live with it. My internet connection is still a little awful, so hopefully this doesn't be too bad. Uh, typing is, is slow. <laughs> you will want to just enter your username the first time that you try and connect, and then once you have an account, you can go ahead and connect with that uh, account set up. Oh, forgot my last name here. And then you can log in with the password that you use for the whole Pico CTF game and infrastructure. So now that we are in the shell, we can change directory to, once I right click and paste from browser, this location. And we now that we're in that directory, we can ls and see what we have to work with. We have a lot of files here, or at least seemingly a lot of directories and folders. So what I'm going to do is ls tac r to recursively look through them and see what we have. And we do have a lot of files in here. So significantly harder than the previous challenge when we just did grep one, right? It wasn't just one file to look through, now we have many. So we can still accomplish this very, very easily, though, because grep offers another flag. If I check out man grep, and I say flag not as the capture the flag, flag we're looking for, but another argument or something that we can work with. So, tack capital R will actually allow us to loop through stuff. Wow, it's um, I don't know if my yeah, shell fast. is actually behaving or I just lost connection. Here. Um, okay. so you could look through the man gewesen. page, but if you wanted to, you know that we should just use run uh, grep minus R or tack R, and then that will give us recursive control. We can still go through lowercase o capital E, so we still get our Pico CTF flag format. And I'm typing this out, but the shell is just not working with it. So hopefully once this all loads, it will just bang out. Okay, awesome. So once we run this, it will find the file for us that has that string. And we can retrieve uh, the file just like that. So I'm going to go ahead and copy this. I'm going to save it in a local copy. So flag.txt in our grep2 file. Oh, and I totally did not copy mm. that for some reason. I don't know. Let me just copy. There we go. Okay, cool. So that way we can mark grep2 as complete. Submit that, and we're good to go. Next challenge is Akashella, which is supposed to be a pun off of acapella, and I think this challenge got a lot of hate, <laughs> and I, I, I feel bad saying that. It's not, it's not anything... 
uh, it's not indicative of anything else or anything as a problem designer, but it, it just seemed like there were some struggle in this that didn't need to be there. So it's never a bad idea to brush up on those Linux skills or learn some new ones before you set off on this adventure. Connect with Netcat to this post important. So I'm going to the Spaß. directory that I have on Netcat to it, and hopefully my internet connection handles this. Sweet. Yeah. We haven't gotten access into the file system, but we aren't root. We have gotten access into the file system, but we aren't root. It's some sort of restricted shell. I can see what you're typing, but I can't see your, but I, I can't see what you're typing, but I can see your output. I'll be here to help you all along. If you need help, just type echo help me, and I'll see what I can do. So let's just actually go ahead and try that. Echo help me with the exact same syntax they have with single quotes and exclamation point. And so you got this. Have you looked for any directories? So I haven't yet. Let's just go ahead and ls and look for some stuff. And these are hey, Leute, wie gut bin ich directories. So I guess I'll change directory into secret. It says now we're cooking. Take a look around and tell me what you find. So I'll uh, ls again to just list stuff. And it says sabotage them. Get rid of all their Intel files. So what I'm going to do, rather I'm, than going I'm trying. to Intel 1, Intel 2, Intel 3, etc. just by hand, I'm going to use Intel or RM to remove and then Intel <laughs> underscore asterisk. So any of those numbers will be kind of gobbled up by that wild card and it says, nice, now they're all gone. I think I can drop you a file of an exploit. It says, type in echo, drop it in, which we can type for us. And it says, I placed a file in the executable folder as it looks like the only place we can execute from. I run the script I wrote to have a little more impact on the system. So let's go ahead into that executable file folder that we knew was there. I can't tab complete. <laughs> Uh, and then now is a new directory, I'm sorry, a new, a new file in this directory, don't look here, so let's dot slash it, because we know that it is seemingly executable, and it spits out a lot of interesting hex, for some reason. Maybe it's doing some lead hacker thing. It says, looking through the text above, I think I found the password, I'm just having trouble with the username. Drag Serrano as we get down soon, quickly print the username of the stream so we can close our back door, close our back door? Whatever. And, and log into the account directly. You have to find another way other than Echo. So what this is referring to is just trying to display your username, like your your the username that you're running on the on the computer, or some, the simulated system that you're in. So you run the Who Am I command. It says Elite Hacker. Perfect. One second. Okay, I think I've got what we're looking for. I just need to copy a file to a place we can read. Try copying the file top secret in the temp directory in the passwords folder. So I think I don't know if this has been patched, but I think a couple people tripped up on this and. Uh, I certainly did, but kind of a secret was that you had to move into the home directory to be able to properly move this directory, th this file. I don't know if this was patched, I don't know if this was fixed, but I know there was a lot of complaints about it. So we'll copy from the temp directory this file top secret into the passwords folder, and it says quickly, go read the file. So let's go into the passwords folder. We know that top secret is now in there, so let's go ahead and display that cat out top secret. and. It gives some spiel on Major General John Schofield and his West Point speech. I'm not a West Point guy. I went to a different service academy. Not that it was any better. <laughs> uh, and then we have the flag. Cool. Let's go ahead and mark that as complete. So you can kind of base your own opinion off of uh, that challenge. It's I, I thought it was peculiar, but a lot of people have seemed to trip up on it when we really shouldn't have had to. This next challenge is called Client Side is Still Bad. It's another web exploitation challenge. Uh, we can assume that we're going to be looking at JavaScript, right? So the client side programming language. Challenge prompt is I forgot my password again. So <coughs> no. Be a reset. Can you help me? So let's check this link here. I should have opened that in a new tab. It says, Welcome to the secure login server. Please enter your credentials to proceed. I'm going to control you to view the source, see what we're really working with here. Looks like we have a standard MD5 implementation, so we can check out that JavaScript code, but apparently it's not found. Apparently that just doesn't exist. So, good to know. The rest of the HTML there is pretty boring and stupid. Looks like it is calling the verify function, and then returning false kind of no matter any, so that way it doesn't submit a form or anything. Um, but this verify function is de defined up here in this segment of JavaScript code. It looks like it just gets the element that we're typing in, so the password field, the password input, right, ID equals pass, get element by ID, get the value out of it, and then it's trying to split up what looks to be the flag in segments of four, and just checking, okay, if the substring meets all this criteria, it says you've got the flag. This is building up the flag for us, right, you can kind of see it coming to life, and Pico CTF, client is bad, is your blah, blah, blah. So let's go ahead and put this together. I'm going to go into sublime text, and let's just, I'm going to 
rav with regular expressions, anything that's inside of the curly braces here. In fact, I'll just find all and then cut them and then paste them in. So then I can now remove all the single quotes, I suppose, and let's save this to just put it in the client side is still bad. Uh, I guess like notes.txt that we, we could use here. Um, so now we can move into that directory and let's cat out notes.txt, but let's go ahead and reverse all the lines in there. Oh, did I do that wrong? Oh, yes. Uh, we want to not reverse each line, but the order of the line. So let's let's tack. So reverse of cat, tack, notes.txt. And now we have it all there. So now let's remove all of the new lines and build out the flag here. And that's it. We can redirect that to flag.txt. You could build a, a, a script if you want to do that, or just a simple get flag script where you curl the, the page here. And, it, and you know what? Let's do it. Let's go ahead and do some bash magic. Let's curl the page. Oh, I forgot. I have the view source and the link here. My bad. OK, so now let's just get the first couple lines following it. So let's tail minus n. Is it plus one? I, I forget. I always forget how to get like the the last couple lines. Maybe that's not what I want. Let's get the last twenty lines. No, all right. Screw it. Let's use head. <laughs> and let's get the first twenty lines. Okay, cool. Then we can try and run our cut command where we cut with uh, the single quote as a field delimiter. Let's get the second column here. And let's head or tail just this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lines. So minus n. Yeah, oh, it was flicked in there. I guess eight because we want the curly brace at the end. Let's tack s to silence curl. Then let's go ahead and tack to reverse all these in, and then remove all the new lines just as we've done before. So we keep adding on to our, our pipe and eventually we will just carve out the flag just like that. So that is kind of our standalone get flag script, which works pretty well for us. And it does some, some nice one-liner bash magic, mm. so that's pretty cool. Mark that as executable. Mm. We've already got our flag, right? Yep, so let's just pipe that into our clipboard. Go ahead and submit it. One-liner. 150 points, and we're still cruising. Awesome. Cool. Mark this challenge as a good one. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Cool. Uh, for all things to do, so bash magic at the very, very end there, and then exploring some of the interesting challenges. Boah, soll <laughs> that, ich mich jetzt hier irgendwo niederlassen, so. oder wie sieht's aus? So this challenge is called Logon for 150 points in the web exploitation category. Challenge prompt says, I made a website, so now you can log on to. I don't seem to have the admin password. See if you can't get the flag and we have a link we can go ahead and connect to and it looks like we have a login page we wouldn't have any we don't have any functionality or accessibility to actually like register an account but we can like try things and it said admin password and just kind of as it says i'm sorry the admin password is super secure you're not getting in that way so you could literally just try like anything anything and get in so let's just go with the the classic and we should be logged in perfect it says success you logged in not sure you'll be able to see the flag though no flag for you. Okay, so that's fine. Supposedly we logged in. Let's check that out. Uh, the way we can probably do that is by examining HTTP cookies or the pieces of information and data that your the a web server will store on your computer, like through your browser, to kind of authenticate you or keep your session intact by, by some cookies. So I'm in Google Chrome and just yeah, using this web browser plugin there. called Edit This Cookie. If you wanted to just go ahead and install that, you can, you know. Just Google edit this cookie and add it to Chrome in the Chrome web store or whatever. Or you can use Cookie Manager Plus if you're on Firefox, etc., or whatever the case may be. So let's check this out. I'm going to open up edit this cookie. I have a username cookie Ooh. based off what I answered. Did you see this uh, image move? Password that I answered <laughs> and an admin cookie, <laughs> which is set to okay, capital F false. <sighs> so maybe this is some kind of Boolean test as to whether or not this account is an admin or not. So just off of a hunch, let's try and change it to true. Go ahead and save this, and I'm going to hit F5 to refresh, and now we get the flag just like that. So silly, cheesy, boring, whatever. Uh, let's jot that down as the flag. Nano flag.text. Piece it in there. 
And if you wanted to, we could go ahead and, I suppose, make a get flags group with this. I'm just going to refresh this page, and then we'll go ahead and see. Oh, no, it doesn't give me the. Uh, I want to see if I can actually get the request that the web browser makes and just steal it as, as the curl command. If I were to retrieve this cookie with having being true, if I, if I set this request now, try and refresh the page, it doesn't happen. It's weirdness. Okay, I tried it again, and I think I got a little bit more success here. Uh, now it does get the flag, so let's go ahead and copy this as curl. And I think I just had an extra new line in the cookie editor that I was using. So if I paste this in the browser now, it should give me the entire response, and I can just go ahead and just crap out the flag. E, CTF, with our curly braces as usual, as we we're expecting. Uh, set that color to none. What the fuck? This guy just had an extra noodle poppy. Was missing to this little bit. It Boom, that's a fair time. Weirdness. Okay, I tried it again, and I think I got a little bit more success here. Uh, now it does get the flag, so let's go ahead and copy this the, this page, and then we'll go with my text. Okay, here we're going to fit again. And uh, if you wanted to, we could go ahead and, I suppose, make a get flag script with this. I'm just going to refresh this page, and then we'll go ahead and see. Oh, no, it doesn't give me the. I want to see if I can actually get the request that the web browser makes and just steal it as the, as the curl command. Mm. If I were to retrieve this cookie with adding to being true, if I, if I set this request now, try and refresh the page, it doesn't happen. Weirdness. Okay, I tried it again, and I think I got a little bit more success here. Uh, now it does get the flag, so let's go ahead and copy this as curl. Cool. And I think I just had an extra new line in the cookie editor that I was using. So if I paste oh, this in the browser now, it should give me the oh, entire response, good. and I can just go ahead and just crap out ref attack OE, Pico CTF, with our curly braces as usual as we're An expecting. Angel. Uh, set that color to none, and make that curl silent. So just like that, we should have a get flag script. Kind of a quick and easy way, just grabbing off the dev tools. If you didn't Rage see how I opened that, uh, F12, I think in Chrome, I know for sure we'll do it. I don't know about Firefox, but that'll open up the development tools, and you can just go to the network tab, and it'll monitor all the requests that you make and as you're talking to a web server. So let's just throw that in the get flag scripts. Get flag .sh. Wieso macht er eigentlich immer Color None? Shebang line going. Wie stört doch niemanden, oder? And money. Cool. Let's mark that as complete. Whoa. I can't type. It's cool. Still can't type. Not actually cool. All right, get me back to the game. Whoa, not that far. Let's go ahead and submit that and get 150 points. Cool, my internet connection is still super duper slow. Next challenge is called Reading Between the Eyes, 150 points. It says, Stegosaurus hit a message for you in this image. Can you retrieve it? So this is, interestingly enough, a forensics category challenge, uh, but the text here in the challenge prompt re like references steganography. So we had the image. Uh, I went ahead and downloaded it already because my internet is awful where I am at the moment. So let's just see what this image is. It's husky.png, and we have a picture of a husky. Cute little puppy dog. Little doge. I would love to get a husky as a dog, but I think me and my girlfriend would be getting, like, the, the actual doge, you know? The Shiba Inu. That'd be awesome. A couple years out. Um, so, we could do forensic stuff on this, right? We could run foremost on this if you really wanted to go down the rabbit hole and think that it was uh, a forensics challenge. However, it is not just getting a PNG out of it is that PNG file itself. You could run binwalk on it if you wanted to. You could dig through it however you particularly wanted to. Uh, you could run steg solve on it. That would be kind of something that I would recommend. I'm going to go ahead and copy it here. Just Java attack jar. If you don't have Stegsolve, totally go get it. It's on the internet. It's on GitHub. Just Google Stegsolve. Open up the Husky image. It's a big picture, so we're just seeing more and more of the puppy dog, but there is nothing in here. Alpha plan is not in there, so that's wrong. The tool that I ended up using with, uh, or going with and using, uh, was ZSteg. And I thought this was peculiar because you can check out the, the hint here. It says maybe you can find an online decoder. And I'm sure there is one online tool to do this, and it's probably pretty obscure or something. Um, but I just did it with ZSteg. So if you don't have ZSteg, you can install it. I think it requires Ruby and Gem. Yeah, there's a GitHub repository.
over and you can explore it a little bit. But I use it all the time because it, it determines like LSB or least significant bit stuff very, very quickly in an awesome way. So let's run zstack on husky.png and it cranks it out. It immediately finds, hey, here's Pico CTF, here's your flag. Neato. Let's go ahead and just steal that. I'm gonna get the first two lines. Nicht Let's schlecht, die Stack. Ja, was ist denn hier los? Leute. Okay. Mm. So, wir sind jetzt bei einer Stunde und acht Minuten. Mm. Um, CTF Walkthrough von John Hammond. Mm. Das hat auch mal wieder eine produktive Folge. Dann nicht vergessen, diesem Server beizutreten. Und wer zuerst bei den Items ist, äh, hat gewonnen, würde ich sagen, Leute. Ähm ja, mal sehen, ob ich, ob ich die noch holen werde. Sonst könnt ihr sie euch ja holen. Äh, Koordinaten sind ja da. Ist ganz nettes Zeug dabei. Also mein, äh, meine Mending Fortune Pickaxe ist halt anders geil. Ähm... Ja, also wer bis minus 200k traveln will, kann die gerne mit snacken. Ähm, genau, den ganzen Spaß erreicht ihr unter 149.202.127.134, alternativ auch sillyhoon.com. Ähm, ja, Link zum Video ist wie immer in der Beschreibung, eine Stunde, acht Minuten sind wir jetzt. Dann sehen wir uns in der nächsten Folge.